Hi there, I'm Nick Federoff. I'm Eric Michaud. And we are with Unciphered. We crack crypto wallets for customers who are locked out, reuniting them with their crypto. And uh, we're going to continue with our hardware wallet overview series with the Ledger Nano S Plus. Uh, this is uh, quite, quite a popular wallet as well. Um, Some may even say, even the marketing says, the most popular. The most popular. Well, we don't know the numbers, and I don't think it's published, so yeah. And also, we'll take your word for it. If how would they know what their competitors' numbers are? So I, <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's really it's really up. To, they've all sold in the millions. Didn't yes, they have. They, they also, it's, it is quite popular, yeah. uh, and there's a lot of lot of data around this. So um, yeah, what are we looking at here? So the Ledger Nano S Plus. So there was uh, previously the Ledger Nano S, which I think had the ST31 chipset, um, less secure chip, an older model. And before that, there was a version one, uh, which we do crack. Um, but this is the most recent one that they've uh, released in that series. Uh, they also have the Ledger Nano X, which we'll cover in a different video. Um, but this is a pretty durable um, device. Uh, cover most uh, tokens and cryptocurrencies. Uh, and I think also this, uh, the Ledger devices are now able to be your second factor authentication device, sort of like a Google Titan really? in Google, uh, oh, sorry, Google Titan and YubiKey. Um, they've also met... Uh, if, you, if you don't know what those are, it is when you're logging in, if, instead of having another thing text your phone, which is actually not as secure, uh, you can have a physical separate device that you would plug in and touch. So, yeah. Um, and so then there's the, this, these devices have also been certified for the European uh, security criteria, criteria EAL5+. Plus. Um, and we can go into that into another video. Sure. Um, think of it more like the, or similar to the FIPS 140-4 uh, certification for hardware, encrypted hardware devices in the US. Um, the I, US and Europe have different standards. Yeah. This one meets the European standard. Yeah, or one of them. <laughs> one of them, one of them. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's open it up and take a look. Smartest way to secure, buy, and grow your crypto with a bunch of bunch of information. Uh, so as you can see, we have your secret recovery sheet here. Which, if we open it up, it's very similar to another one we saw from another brand. Yes, it is. I, I was just thinking that. I see a lot of brands like mirror each other, and I'm not sure who's first. Yeah. So the, yeah. we have the. Uh, places to write down your uh, secret recovery phrase, your mnemonic, your, well, whatever they want to call it. Uh, <laughs> mnemonic fast recovery. Mnemonic recovery key. Yeah. And uh, that all fits in there. Very nice. Um, three of those uh, so that you can keep them in different locations just in case one gets uh, burns down or lose it, which in that case, move and, the money. And water hazards, as we heard from some clients. Yes. And underneath here, we have this little sheet. I like that color too. It's actually a really nice color. Uh, Ledger.com slash start written out there. And you don't need anything besides Ledger Live and yourself to buy, send, receive, exchange, grow, secure, sell. Okay, cool. Like they 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 give you a platform. Great. That's I'm assuming one of their apps that they they use in some nice uh, black and white um, transparent stickers. Cool. You don't and want to tag your laptop or other. Yeah, like, yeah. Represent, represent Ledger. Um, let's see here inside. I'm guessing USB C. Yep, USB C. That's uh, nice braided cable. Pretty cool. It's got the Ledger logo on it. The laser etched. Yeah. yeah. Is it? No, it's just printed. Yeah. Silk screen. Um, yeah. And then of course we have the device. So let's uh, let's get all this packaging out of the way and let's talk about the device. So Eric, what are we looking at? Uh, USB style uh, crypto hardware device. Uh, I find it a really nice, sturdy design. Not waterproof though. Like as you can see, the buttons here actually don't have any gaskets. You can feel that. Yeah. Um, and also the open USB port you know, could cause it to short out if it's plugged in. Um, it might be like some like light splashing resilience of the battery if it's if it's not charged. Don't quote us on that. They don't quote us on that. Like blah blah battery no battery. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is definitely something I would keep on a keychain. It's like definitely durable enough. Like if you drop it, uh, fall, like just have it on a lanyard. Um, but then again, if you, I, I don't ever recommend carrying vast amounts of crypto. Uh, there's yeah. secure secure ways of uh, sending it and also just like not carrying around like uh, the Hope Diamond on your neck or something. Absolutely, yeah. If you, if you were storing huge amounts of crypto, but if, if you were, you would also potentially want another smaller wallet to be out and about with you in the world, especially if you're dealing with 
with crypto and these types of hardware wallets are are something that can fill that use yeah so so uh, this device also has a, um, a certified secure element chip uh, that meets uh, the term of the, the CC part, but the EAL 5 plus standard. So um, that's not too bad. Um, now, the interesting note of the Ledger company is that they, they have in press releases previously stated that they protect on their devices. They don't store, they store the keys on their devices over 15% of the world's cryptocurrency supply. Mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, gone up actually. Watched. Yeah, it's gone up. Uh, they, and, the, and people are storing more of them on there. Yeah. Uh, more of it on there. Um, so, I mean, I guess, what is that? Uh, if today, when we, as of this recording, $1 trillion is the market cap and value of all crypto. So $150 billion? Yeah. At that's, least. That's uh, it's a lot to protect on your devices, uh, especially with regarding Enciphered. Regarding Enciphered, um, I mean, I don't know how much we can go into that. <laughs> um, so, like, uh, they have earlier versions of the devices, like the V1s, which are totally cracked, and we support those. And then there's uh, versions with much older firmwares that we can help support. Um, and so, I mean, right now, it, it costs a lot to attack these devices. It really does require a sophisticated team uh, to do that. And there, as far as we've seen, there are no public, uh, no no one's publicized an attack on all the modern fully patched uh, devices. But uh, but reach out to us if you are locked out. So, uh, um, in terms of uh, features and other things like hidden wallets that a ledger would like if you watch any of our other videos basically every feature that they have in terms of uh, software interfaces hidden wallets it all supports that so yeah going back it also supports nfts yeah <laughs> uh so if we plug it in we can see oops ledger says welcome welcome to ledger nano s plus press right button to continue and then it uh, tells you to download their software and then to navigate the menus, you use the button. Um, I'm, I'm seeing screens monochrome, simple, much like the other um, Ledger devices. It's actually said that, no, it's not releasing. Oh, so um, when you get this device, uh, it's, oh, there you go. Uh, hit both at the same time. There you go. So you can set up your wallet here to begin. So, oh, cool. Yeah. So you can set up your wallet on the device without needing to plug it into anything but straight power. Uh, you don't need to hook this into a computer to do that, um, which is useful. But if you want the full functionality, you're going to want to use their Ledger Live uh, application. Absolutely. Yep. So that's the Ledger Nano S Plus. Um, yeah, I mean, it's also a bit more expensive. Um, it seems to be quite popular, and uh, I do know of some exchanges that do use this to store some... Uh, some of their value there, and it's quite significant. Uh, but then again, they're also storing it not just on a desk at an office, they're actually putting it into a vault somewhere else. Yes. When we talk about security protocol, we have another much more in-depth video yep. um, that we'll be linking uh, to this video. So, uh, yes, thank you for watching this segment of our crypto hardware wallet overview series. Uh, if you would like to buy a crypto wallet, a hardware wallet, this is an option. We don't make any specific wallet or hardware recommendations for you. Uh, we are just trying to educate you and give you a better lay of the land so that you can make decisions on your own. Um, we're not sponsored by any wallet or wallet manufacturing company, including uh, Ledger. Um, but if you would like to see those other videos, those other uh, overview videos, and some other content that we're putting out about crypto and security, uh, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment down below. Um, we will try and answer every single one of those, as well as if you are locked out or if you know a friend that's locked out, uh, contact us at unciphered.com. Uh, you can fill out the form and scoping is always free. We hope you don't get locked out, but if you do, contact us. I'm Eric Michaud. I'm Nick Fedorov. Thanks for watching.